the No Fake channel. Checking in, and it is a battle of the bars. Tricep bar versus the easy curl bar. I'm gonna break down which each bar is used for and help you decide which one might be right for your home gym. Now let me know, comment below, if you have either of these bars in your home gym and how you like it. If this happens to be your first time to the channel, please give the video a like and hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I typically review pieces of home gym equipment to help you decide, hey, which is going to be right for your home gym, your workout routine, and for your hard-earned money. Tricep bar is exactly what it sounds like. It is meant to hit that tricep. It ranges in price from $60 all the way up to $100. The lowest cost I was able to find is at Titan Fitness. I will say the design of the bars is all the same and they're probably made in the same factory. So I'd probably go with Titan Fitness. The claim to fame on the tricep bar is for the skull crushers. So many people love to do skull crushers. And the reason that the tricep bar is so beloved is that when you do the skull crusher, your wrist and your shoulder are in a neutral position. Unlike a straight bar or an easy curl bar where you have to put your hands out like this, it does take a lot of strain and stress off of your shoulder and your wrist. And that's why people happen to love the tricep bar. Two other exercises that you can do with your tricep bar. Number one is going to be a close grip bench press. The only caveat to that is that most people will circuit it with skull crushers. You're doing skull crushers, you already have the weight above your chest and you just bang out close grip bench press in order to further activate and burn out those triceps. Most people will not do this as a standalone exercise because when you load up that tricep bar very heavy, it then becomes difficult to kind of get the weight from the floor to your lap to above your chest. The last, but certainly not the least, exercise when it comes to tricep bar is going to be the hammer curl. You are able to, again, keep your wrist in a neutral position and just curl that weight, engaging that bicep. And as you do it, you're going to tend to get a lot more of the lower bicep on that activation. And you're going to get a lot of forearms involved as well. People tend to love that exercise because they get a crazy pump and as we always like to say swole is the goal and size is the prize easy curl bars now unlike the tricep bar easy curl bars do come in a lot of different shape sizes costs and knurlings i will tell you that the, the the bottom of the barrel version tends to be this one right here costing between 80 and 120 dollars depending on where and when you pick it up this does get the job done, but clearly if you're looking for a, a, something that you're going to be using often and you want to have your forever easy curl bar, you can upgrade to something like this, which is a rep fitness. And I think this comes in just under $200. You can also get rackable easy curl bars. If you have a power rack, that might be the option for you. An easy curl bar is best known and best loved for curls. You know what I'm talking about curls for the girls but there are a lot more exercises you can do with an easy bar at home now one of the big ones one of my favorites is actually a bent over row okay most people when they think of bent over rows they think of a straight bar but because this easy curl bar has a nice curve to that handle it takes your wrist and it puts it in a much more comfortable natural position to allow you to lift heavy weight but not jack up your wrist The other bicep you can do with this easy curl bar is simply change up your hand position from underneath to over the top, Stallone style. And you can do what's known as a reverse bicep curl. And very much like your tricep bar, this is going to hit the underneath the, the low part of your bicep right here, and it's gonna put a lot more work on your forearms. This barbell doesn't stop there. It's like the Swiss army knife of barbells. Of course, you can also do skull crushes with it and hit those triceps. On top of that, you can do close grip 
bench press with that. Yep, you can just put your hands on the inside and punch out a whole bunch of close grip bench press on this bad boy. I've even seen people use this as like a, a light bar for walking lunges. They just simply take it, throw it over their back, and just bang out walking lunges up and down their home gym or their local gym. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union, where I give you my personal thoughts and preference when it comes to an easy curl bar and a tricep bar. If you haven't commented below, please let me know if you have a preference. I'm always curious which one people gravitate to. First and foremost, I want to say that both of these bars are absolute great bars because they don't cost a lot of money. Relatively speaking to home gym equipment, these bars are on the cheaper end of things and there's nothing to break. There's really nothing to break on these bars. So once you buy one, you will have it forever. So that's one of the positives. Also, these are small bars. They're not seven foot bars. They don't take up as much space in a home gym. They tend to be easier to store, easier to maneuver, and they are great to have in your home gym if you wanna have even just a small home gym to bang out arms in between going to your local gym. As far as my preference, if I only had to pick one and go all in on one bar, it has to be the Easy Curl Bar. Even though I think the tricep bar is great, it is overshadowed by its bigger, more functional brother, the Easy Curl Bar. If you have that Easy Curl Bar, you can do skull crushes, you can do close grip bench press. And I have personally found with an Easy Curl Bar, it's actually easier, pardon the pun, to do close grip bench press and load up that weight with the Easy Curl Bar in terms of getting it from the floor up over your chest, assuming you don't have a rackable version. While both of these bars are great to have in your home gym, if you have to pick only one, I would certainly gravitate towards the Easy Curl Bar if I were you. It can do everything the tricep bar can do and then some. Hopefully you found today's video informative. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you came this far in the video, then we are now best friends. Why not give this video a like and hit that red subscribe button. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.